this would be the second ambush in roughly the same area of New York. Uh, this second shooting happening uh, just uh, not too long ago. Uh, your, your perspective is important, but I've got to transition to what we invited you to come on and talk about, which was in New York, uh, they are going to take on the Department of Homeland Security and go to court in a move to prevent illegal immigrants from getting driver's licenses. New York is allowing illegal aliens to get driver's licenses, and now Homeland Security is saying you can't be able to use those licenses. But also our, our trusted traveler uh, programs. We need that information to determine eligibility and to determine whether somebody's low risk or meets those eligibility requirements. Th this is absolutely absurd. So in response, this is not an arbitrary response. You're saying if we're trying to vet people for global entry or TSA pre-check, how can we validate the, the validity of double word there, how can we validate who they are if the process has greenlighted someone who might be illegally or, or is not here uh, for lawful purposes? Pete, that's absolutely right. And I, I think it's important everybody understands. So before they, they pass this law, they, they, didn't, they didn't reach out to us. They didn't have a conversation with us. They didn't ask us how it was going to negatively impact our job to safeguard their country. What they did was pass a law that specifically prevented CBP and ICE for accessing this data, and then they held a press conference. But make no mistake, <laughs> this president, they, he said, he's made it very clear, even though sanctuary cities won't protect their citizens of this country, we're going to. And that's what this is about. This is about public safety and us doing our job, plain and simple. Commissioner, you took a recent trip to Central America. Share with us about that trip, what you learned and what you'd like viewers to know about that. I tell you, Emily, it was a, it was a great trip. First, yeah, I mean, it's, it, people are starting to realize the, the, there's a new sheriff in town on the border. It, it is. We've seen a dramatic drop, 75% in illegal immigration from the northern triangle countries in the past eight and a half months. And what we are hearing, those countries are joining us. They're telling, uh, they're sending that same message. And here's, they talk about hope, Pete. Instead of putting all your hope into coming to the United States, put your hope in your own country. Work with your government officials. Work with private and, and public in investors that are there to have hope in your country and build your own country. That's the other message that they're trying to put yeah. out. Commissioner, thank you for your service so much and your perspective this morning. Thank, thank you, sir. Thank you. Appreciate it. You bet.